Yo, I got my freaking cartilage pierced twice, yo. It's happening! It's happening! Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Everyone stay fucking calm! <laughs> Yo, what is up everybody? I am Ami Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, or welcome back to my channel, mother freaker! No, I will never change my intro, but holy f I'm surprised not a lot of people have been talking about this, because I've been losing my shit about this. Holy fuck, Fruits Basket! Fruits Basket, they coming back! And I am so excited! Holy shit! For those who don't know what Fruits Basket is, it is possibly one of my favorite animes in the world. It is probably one of the first few animes a lot of you guys have seen who've gotten into anime during the Oran High School Host Club era. You've probably heard of Fruits Basket. And if not, let me break it down for you for one of the animes that probably opened up my obsession about boys. Let me break it down for you. I'm going off the anime strip. So if I'm saying things that are not correctly in the manga, I'm sorry. I'm only referring to my memory of the anime. For those who are totally unfamiliar with Fruits Basket, the series launched in July 1998 and has become known as one of the shoujo top titles. And this series is an anime and a manga. The manga is way longer. But the story follows a young orphan girl named Toru Hana who is sweet and as determined as life. She is so fucking sweet. Can you name a sweeter feminine role than Toru Honda? Bitch, no you can't! And she is your adorable, oh so sweet, oh so innocent, try hardy in school. But this go lucky high school girl, she lived with her mother and her mom sadly passed away. Really does not want to be an inconvenience to anyone. So other than to live with her other relatives, who freaking suck by the way, she preferred to live in a tent in the middle of the forest by herself with a photo of her mother. And in this anime, she has two very good friends, Uo and Hana. One of them is a freaking kick-ass Yankee. The other is like a psychic or something. I never understood. But in her high school as well, of course, there are always these popular heartthrob boys. And those were the Somas, Yuki and Kyo Soma, who went to their high school. While she was walking to school one day, she walked past a house that had these cute little things that represented all the animals of the Zodiac. And the adult that ran the house, Shigure Soma, introduced himself to her. And then that's when she saw Yuki in person, lost her shit, like, oh my god, it's that pop popular boy in school and he was like let's walk together and you notice in the episode she kind of avoids the question of where she lives because she lives in a fucking tent goes to school and then she gets attacked by the freaking mean girls in school because they're the most beautiful popular boy in school they part ways toru walks to her house in the middle of the freaking woods in a tent yuki and shigure soma walk home hear the owls, and they happen to walk past her tent, figuring out that she lived in a tent. She would rather not inconvenience anyone and would rather live in a tent by herself in the woods. She works, she goes to school, then she ends up being really sick. They let her sleep at the house, and then later the next morning, before going to school, she meets the other boy, Kyo Soma, and then discovers, once hugging the gender of the opposite sex, they all turn into one of the animals of the Zodiac. They were going to have to wipe her memory if she couldn't keep this family secret. And due to all these circumstances, she ended up moving into the Soma house. Through the anime, you meet all of these different characters who turn into different animals of the Zodiac, with all these crazy misunderstandings, issues, and calamities along the way, as well as some dark secrets that underline through the progression of the anime. And this was a really great anime. If you haven't watched it, I recommend it. Like freaking, I ain't no real Annie tuber. Like I'm a fucking Yaoi tuber up in here. I don't review things, even though a lot of you guys want me to. I just don't have time to sit and watch anime. But if I'm telling you to watch any anime, watch Fruits Basket. You're gonna cry. You're gonna love. One taught you pain. One taught you sadness. One taught you love. One taught you patience. And one taught you. <laughs> the reason why this anime is up in discussion as of right now, after years of being completed as an anime series, it's coming back, bitch! And I'm losing my fucking mind! And the news is that this amazing loved anime is gonna get a reboot. 
2019, I am ready! But here is an article from Jobiano.com to go into more detail. I will have a link to all of my sources below. Hana to Yume magazine made the announcement with the confirmation that it will tell the manga's entire story. Natsuki Hakaya originally launched Fruits Basket in 1998, and she would later write Fruits Basket Another. And as a tweet from at PKJD from the website HanaYumeMagazine.com that a teaser has been dropped in the cover of the magazine, you see Fruits Basket in the little corner. Fruits Basket will be having a remake. And the reason for that was Studio Dean produced the 26 episode anime adaption back in 2001, but the author Takaya has publicly condemned the previous adaption for its litany of changes and even went as far to block Studio Dean from working on additional entries. And for all the articles that I have read through, the author Takaya didn't believe that Studio Dean portrayed her creation, the Fruits Basket manga, in its whole entirety, which is very true. Even though the 2001 anime was very successful and very loved, a lot of the lovers from the original manga series shared the opinion that the anime did not not go in depth and really give out the true whole story that the manga portrayed. And the author themselves felt the same. And they are rebooting Fruits Basket with a whole new studio promising to go in depth to the whole manga series debuting by TV Tokyo in 2019. And a quote from one of the articles is that the original anime did change several manga-centric details way back when, and this new adaptation series will portray Tatsuki Takaya's series more accurately. So I already know so many people are gonna be so excited. Because even though, as I said, the anime was very loved, it was very successful, a lot of the diehard fans who loved the manga followed the manga until the end past volume 20, it was kind of disheartening that it didn't go into full detail, which isn't that uncommon for anime to happen sometimes just because of whether budgets or time or maybe the series doesn't do well so they don't finish. But I'm so happy. You, you guys, like, you guys know I don't freaking keep track with all the latest anime, but I am so excited. Fruits Basket, I can't wait for you to come back. <laughs> Toru, I love you. Laura Bailey, if you do not voice act Toru, I'm gonna be mad. I'm kidding. Whoever gets the part rightfully served to be Toru Honda. It's already too soon to talk about an English dub. The anime is barely gonna premiere next year. Dang! Ah! Ah! But again, I'm sorry guys for being a piece of shit about uploading school. Y'all know I'm freaking in university now, so it's kind of more chaotic. But I'm, I'm still trying my best. I'm still trying my best. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Before we go, let me get a showstopper out there because y'all deserve it. Y'all deserve it. This week's showstopper is Mana X Rune. Thank you so much, love, for all your love and support. Look at, I love your Todoroki. And you're in your profile pic just eating ramen. Thank you so much, love, for all your love and support. It means the world to me. Thank you. Woo! If you want to be next week's showstopper, just make sure to show some love on all of my social medias. Show me love, and I will show you love back. Remember, I will be a guest at Sat Gamers Expo. My booth is going to be Fortnite trash. I am sorry in advance. No, I'm not. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment. Let me know. Have you seen Fruits Basket? Have you heard of it? And are you excited for this new reboot? Because God knows I am. Also, if there's any other anime news you want me to talk about, can I be an anti-tuber? Let me join you, Crip! If there's any other anime news you want me to talk about, also leave it in the comments below and I will see it. I will get to it. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to freaking press that notification bell so you get notifications every time I make a video. And make sure to subscribe. Hashtag join the army army. I try to do videos every Sunday, but it's been fucked recently. Follow my Twitch because I stream. I don't have a schedule. I just post when I can, but I do post frequently in the week. Follow all my social medias. All that bullshit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my wave family. I love you very much, and I will see y'all motherfreakers next time. Bye! I was so happy when you smiled. Your smile breaks through the clouds of gray. I'm having a mental breakdown. I was so happy when you smiled. Through the clouds of gray, or from the sunny.